right, uh, we're about to get started here. Round of 16. DCU against Michigan State. Should be a good one. Dylan. Good, I didn't go. And we're underway. Fired off to start the game. Fun fact about this game VCU against Michigan State in the round of 16. A win by VCU would result in their highest finish ever at Nationals. A loss by Michigan State would result in Michigan State's worst finish ever at Nationals. So both of those things are on the line in this game if VCU can pull it off. Is Court 2 live at all? Ask Spencer. I'm not sure. The game has not started yet. I can tell you that much. I'm not sure if Felix has set that one up where it's live yet. Um, I can double check in a little bit. But their game hasn't started yet. That's Saginaw against Miami. Oh man. Wild throw by Noe. Oh man, there's a hit by the rookie. Number 43 for Michigan State. That's number 18, one of their heroes from yesterday for VCU. He's out on that play. Colin.
16. What, Colin? We're in the round of 16. Michigan State against VCU. This is the first point of the game. 0-0 score. Hey, Colin, you want to play So they're on the 10 count, but that ball's over, gives them all 10 balls. They're setting up a team throw. Yes. Yes. Drop catch. He dropped it. And that's MSU's top arm now in the outline. But they have the rest of the players. Oh, and he got him. No, he's nice and hit. MSU in control. No, he's gonna go. He's done. Wow. Somehow dodged both those throws. Oh, almost made another great catch. He's had a big first point, Daniel, for, uh, for Michigan State. Making catches. Oh, another close miss no, by Noe Gallagher. VCU with three players left. I misspoke right here. Oh, it somehow gets the catch. VCU with four players remaining now. MSU, almost their entire roster. They got ten players on the court, I think. Drop catch there by VCU. That would have been a huge swing. Oh. Here comes a throw. Oh, he reaches for it. He reached too high, dropped it. Oh, catchable. Here it comes. Nice hit. Nice hit by Schuster, and it's down to one player left. Hunter Ford, but don't count him out. He was the hero from yesterday. Catch is good. Nice diving catch by Hunter, but he also got hit on a team throw. One player remaining for VCU still. Yeah. Here comes a team throw. Missed Let's see if someone on Michigan State can make a catch. Another team throw coming. Missed him again. Terrible timing on that team throw. That's Michigan State's uh, inexperienced showing right there. Uh oh. Here comes a solo throw. Oh man. A little bit of a dispute, but they're calling him safe. I think he was safe. That's a ball's over. So for those watching, we have uh, in college dodgeball, there's shot clocks for both sides uh, that is reset just by one person making a legitimate throw to the other team. Uh, VCU failed to do that during that 10 second span, so if the ball's over, Michigan State has now all 10 dodgeballs on their side. VCU, one player remaining, and uh, no dodgeballs to block for himself with. Here comes the team throw. Again, as a new 
points out, yes, those are brutal solo throws that aren't timed well, so they aren't actually a team throw. Here comes Noe, I think he'll pick him off here. Nope, he waits, sets up a team throw, still misses him. This guy cannot get hit. Hey, call ball's over, good call by the ref. That ball wasn't close enough. Technically, the rule is that it has to be within a step and a dive of the opponent for it to be called a, a legitimate throw. That throw bounced at half court, not close enough. So that's another ball's over. Michigan State. Hey. Update on the Saginaw game. Kyle Fitzpatrick, Kent State alumni, is going over there to live stream it. Um, so check his Facebook page. He's going live in a minute here. One zero Michigan State here against BCU. BCU is the surprise team of nationals yesterday. Uh, when they pulled off a crazy upset against Saginaw Valley State. Today going up against a different Michigan State, or different Michigan school. Uh, not going so well yet. 1 0 MSU. Second point is underway. BCU got a little bit of a ball advantage here. Oh, oh, One thing, MSU is being really careful and smart to not throw catches to BCU. And that's why they won that point.
And now we got Colin O'Brien joining the booth with me. Uh, after calling me out, the news wishes he was there. Oh my goodness! Drop catch by Caldwell. Much different team. Far more cohesive. Spencer, you can't. Uh, the feed has Good not catch, gone. Dennis. Let's go. Uh, yeah, he's just pulling up the live stream now, so it probably hasn't started yet. And news, you're correct with what you texted Colin O'Brien. <laughs> I agree. There it is. There it is. Good job, Daly. Oh, what a play. Pushed up, got the middle ball. <laughs> Missed Hunter Ford on the throw, though. MSU, so much more energy now than they used to have at the start of the year. Oh, and they catching out 18, one of the heroes from yesterday. Great catcher. Great number. Yikes. VCU just looks tired right now. No energy compared to Michigan State. Michigan State jumped out of the gate to start this point. They wanted it. Balls over again. That's either the third or fourth balls over called this half against VCU. They've got to make better throws. But Michigan State uh, deserves some credit because when they're on the back line, or when they're backing up. Go Tom. What? Miami's winning right now. Miami is leading 1-0 uh, against Saginaw. Still waiting for Kyle Fitzpatrick to go live. I haven't gotten the notification either, uh, but check his Facebook. I'll share it from the NCDA's page once he actually goes live, but I'm not sure why he hasn't. Good team throw, though. Just barely missed. Good dodge by 10 there. Time? Time? Ten a good dodge by 10. Nice, nice play. 10 minutes to go in the first half. MSU's leading 1 0 against VCU. There's 10 people in. Once again, this is for a spot in the quarterfinals, which would be VCU's best finish ever at Nationals. Good hit. No, he chased him down. Dylan! 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 No, the big hey, Dylan, when you ref on this court, when you ref on this side, you have to just back up a little bit. Oh, take the shot. And uh, Alex. Oh, drop Hunter. catch. Hunter. Missed Hunter. it. Hunter action right now. Yep. Nice throw by Hunter Whitehall. Nice to see Hunter take it on uh, the SVSU game is live, according to Alex Bomas. If you aren't reading the comments there, uh, we will share it as well from the NCDS page. His name's Kyle Fitzpatrick. Oh, another drop catch by VCU, and they were pulling the ball right now. Yeah. Another ball's over. That ball, Man, that story. Ball did not quite cross the line. Story of the first half. Can we get some ice? Alright. So Miami still leads 1 0 against Saginaw Valley. Once again, uh, those who want to watch that game, Kyle Fitzpatrick is live. I'm sharing it right now from the NCAA's page as well. Over here on court one. MSU about to take a 2-0 lead. This, this Schuster and Galloway's team throw is dangerous. Two, two of the top throwers in the Michigan region. Oh, and Let's a go, catch, man. catch by uh, Torreya, whatever. Oda. Oh, my goodness. Noe doesn't step into his throw, and he gets caught. And that brings in one of, one of BCU's top players. Shot short. Yep, wing short. One of their all stars. Oh, Shadid going for the drop catch. It bounces right before it hits him. I'm out, MSU. 
where can you watch the live feed for SBSU versus Miami? Uh, John, if you check the NCDA's actual Facebook page, we just shared it. Or you can just type in Kyle Fitzpatrick. Uh, he's live from his personal account. Uh, but yeah, I just shared it from the NCDA's page. Uh, so it should be the top post if you go to their Facebook. Once again, the score of that game is 1-0 Miami. Uh, still in the first half. It looks pretty even. I'm looking through the divider. It looks like it's about 10 on 10 in point two. So point two could go either way. And those are uh, probably the top two games going on right now. We also have JMU playing Kentucky. Uh, where's Towson's game, someone asked? They're playing Maryland. Uh, it's on Core 4, and I believe there's no stream, but check Towson's Facebook page. They're usually good about getting their stream up. Uh, so if it's anywhere, it would be there on Towson Dodgeball's Facebook page. Also, Kent playing Virginia. Kent against Virginia. Virginia, a huge weekend. Um, Is that it? Yep, Bowling Green's playing Akron. Akron, another team that had a great weekend. And the home team here trying to come back down 1 0 currently. But they're putting it together here in this point a little bit. Nice block. So, right now for MSU, we have, I think, eight players remaining. And then VCU stuck at five, so they're still on the 10 count. Which is a huge disadvantage. Oh, there's Wayne Short. See, when he got caught in, he's already, he's the guy making all their throws. Oh, man. Schuster without a ball here. If he's too smart, they put a team throw on him right now. Knockout MSU's off. Him. Good hit. Nice hit. Hits him in the toes, and VCU's down to four players. Two misses. Oh, just. Oh, man. A point blank miss by VCU and by Michigan State. Michigan State twice. Yeah. VCU still with four left. This guy, 42 to VCU. He's got to be gassed. Yeah, he's been, he was their last guy remaining. Last point. He stayed in this entire point. Yesterday, he was one of the guys staying in the whole time he had sagging on. He's got to be tired. Oh. Nice throw by another rookie on Michigan State, uh, Brent Weakland. Kept it low the whole way. It wasn't catchable, but it almost hit him in the foot. Michigan State, so what's that last one right now? Really, really running down, really deciding whether they're going to the counter or, or the team. Throw. Oh, and there we go. They got out VCU's all-star, uh, Oda, in the corner. They got him on a team throw. Smart play. MSU's team coordination is just night and day better than it was at the start of the year. You see the, uh, oh, what a catch. What a catch by Wayne Short. That is a huge momentum swing. Oh, that's on your side of the bracket, too. <laughs> oh, God, a nice hook by Rebecca. Yep. She, she ran up in transition quick enough and just picked him off in the foot. Great, great foot. spot. Perfect placement. And here comes a cross by MSU. Looking for the catch. Kill him, Dan. Oh, man. Drop catch. Weakland, another rookie. Picks him off. And VCU down to two now. MSU needs to be smart here. They still have the man advantage. Yep, but not by as big as you would like. VCU came back from this... this uh, this type of a deficit yesterday against Saginaw Valley, they can do the same today. Seven people in. Against two. Dylan's got a backup. Oh. Oh, man, and that got MSU's captain, Sandros, out. Yeah. Yep, one more throw. If VCU can get one more out, they put MSU on the 10 count. Oh! Got him on a team throw. One man left, number 42. 
Number 42 has not sat a single second this game because he was the last guy left both times. The score of the game is 1-0 Michigan State. We call it a block. 1-0 Michigan State in the first half. Hey, four minutes to go. Four minutes to go in the first half. That's a nice pass. Easy. Nice catch by Sullivan. What? It's under four. It's 343. 340 left. Alright, so we're at halftime. Yep. Michigan State relying on their rookies. What? 340, yep. 340 left in the half. MSU up 2-0, just playing one of their best games that I've seen them play all year. We'll be back for the second half in about five minutes. Uh, once again, scores 2-0, Michigan State. Don't ice. Miami over Saginaw, um, I believe. What? Miami? Miami was winning 1 0, I know that much. Towson up 2 0. Towson winning 2 0 against Maryland. Uh, that one is going into halftime right now. Catches up 2 0. Uh, 
who's Kent playing? Um, yeah, what's the Bowling Green acronym for? Uh, Bowling Green is up Hey, Sam, who is Kent State playing? Virginia, Virginia. Oh, Kent State playing Virginia? Bowling Green, the acronym is 1 0. Akron's about to tie it up. Like, oh, about. Akron's about to tie the game possibly against Bowling Green. Uh, right now it's 1 0 Bowling Green State. Once again, for those just joining us, 2-0 to zero Michigan State. Oh, no, he is out. But he gets Wayne Short out as well. Two of VCU's best all-around players already in the outline. Not that bad. catch by Dale in the corner. ECU just looking like they're running out of steam. They had the game of the year yesterday. Took out Saginaw Valley. But they just don't seem to have it this game. MSU's playing too disciplined. Proud, proud not the same that it was yesterday, too. Proud was really in their favor. Oh, yeah. Every play. Getting a big award. Good hit. <laughs> and... Ironic. <laughs> oh, what a catch! Somehow made it through two different blocks. 42 there. with a catch. Made it through two different potential yeah. blocks without getting skin. Oh, Terrell with a throw. Oh! That must use guy now. VCU all of a sudden stealing the energy. The founder. Trying to push his team to the quarterfinals for the first time ever. Right in a hit. All of a sudden, MSU is almost on the 10 count. They have six players remaining. We're at the start of the second half. We got probably 22 minutes left. And Brent Weakland is out. Should not have reached for that ball. 69 goes up the throw. Good luck. 18, one of, one of VCU's top players. They don't. 42, looking for the catch. Oh, man. VCU, they're not an offensive powerhouse type of a team. They need to make plays in transition or make catches. Oh, and a catch by Wayne Short. Oh, they did a team throw at Rebecca in the corner. Here's, here's Wayne Short is whipping the ball at this point. If Evan Suki just makes sure they make good throws, you can burn a lot of time. Yeah, and let's take a look. Oh, catch. oh he dropped it. Oh, what a catch. Oh, my goodness. Huge catch. Brings in Noe. As I was saying, Cameron Caldwell, one of the best catchers in the state of Michigan there. Uh, Sam, that's not a good catcher. Very good state of life. Yep, and she will catch it if you give it. If you give her a chance, she will catch it. So, with no way back in now, yeah. with no way back in, arm. it's anyone's game at this point. Oh man, Wing Short not afraid at all. Just went up in solo throw on Noe Galvis. You see, still a, a large man advantage, but 
when you look at the caliber of players left. Oh, uh, Noe Galvez just got out. Yep, short turn that MVP for them this game. And a catch! A diving catch by Wayne Short! The crowd is, the crowd is awake. That was a questionable one. He had to get really low to get the catch, but head ref Jake Lesky called it a catch. 42 coming up, makes a throw and he got it! Two players remain, drop the catch! I don't understand how MSU drops that many catches in one play. MSU getting fired up over there, chanting. VCU, obviously, uh, they're ready to play. Yeah. A batter ball? VCU needs to keep this momentum going. Yeah. VCU, the crowd's into it. They were dead the entire first half. And then and then they just, a couple plays shifting the momentum. Wayne Short Unbelievable. put the team on his back. He did. I think he, had, he probably had seven, eight, maybe nine. Yeah, we're talking about if you get plus two for a catch because you got someone out and you bring someone in. But even plus then, one for a hit, he probably went plus ten that point. But I'm, I, I think just, I think just the amount of people got out, seven, eight, nine. I mean, like, it, yeah. it's around, around, around those numbers. He was, he was a beast. Yes, camera angle is not ideal. Unfortunate setup, kind of. And we're stuck on the court level. Uh, that's just how, what we're working with today, sorry. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. MSU with a young team, a lot of inexperience. We need to see if they can have a spine of steel here and deal with the momentum shifting. Young team, they need to be able to deal with a little bit of adversity here and get this point, make it three to one. That's what a veteran noticed. team would do. Uh, VCU changes their sponsors this year. Uh, yeah. Deep run Roadhouse, uh, the new sponsor, replacing Buffalo Wildwoods. Yeah. Hey, it's working. Yeah. VCU with the best win in program history just 24 hours ago when they beat Saginaw Valley State. Uh, that was the first time they ever beat a school from Michigan. And now here they are fighting for a spot in the quarterfinals, Elite Eight, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that would be their best run ever at Nationals. And they have to beat another Michigan team to do it. So. Kenny Myers has dropped a catch on the Saginaw State. Oh, boy. Uh, two to one Michigan State for those who just joined us. Oh, Ooh, great look. Time. Great look and great dodge. VCU, they're a streaky team. Right now they have confidence, they have the momentum, and they're playing smart. Update on CMU game. CMU played last round, they're sitting out right now. Central Michigan was tied 2-2 two two with Penn State at halftime, uh, but ended up winning 5-2. Breaking the ball. Big play, big play right there. Couple big big play. Play. Yeah, the rookie from Michigan State just said, we're not losing this game. And took over. Oh, oh man. Oh, it looked like it hit him. Looked I like don't it think hit it hit him. Him. Did you think it hit him? I thought I might have skimmed this. I, in, my, in, my, in my biased opinion, yeah. in my biased opinion, I thought it hit him. So a questionable <laughs> call. They think that it hit Wayne Short, that he stays in. Uh, it was close. It was close. They're chirping, the crowd's chirping, it's, chirping Sullivan right now. Yeah, I can't, yeah. Ah, that's a questionable one. Nice, nice play by 69. VCU has to make catches if they're going to come back. VCU uh, likely will be down to one ball, will be down to no balls here. With this one rolling back to MSU. Yeah, but when you look at their roster of players that are left on the court, all catchers. 
Oh man, they put a good team yes, throw on Hunter. Four, so nothing you can do about that. You got two team throws, two balls team thrown right at the same spot. And they both are out of play too, which is yeah. a little bit. He's got to get under those balls. They're able to throw really quickly. Yeah. Two. One. Nice throw. Nice throw. Team throw got him. Nice hit. Sullivan's throwing right now. Yeah. He's chirping the crowd back. I love it. Time. And we're calling the ball's over. We, we have a Switzerland exchange student, college dodgeball player in America now. And he's tied with Saginaw at halftime. An American hero. And a Swiss hero. I know, that was the joke, Dylan. Wow. While we were away, ball's over for BCU. Knocked his hat off. Yep. MSU taking over this point, uh, thanks mostly to uh, the rookies on MSU's roster. Sullivan having a great point there. We were talking up the rookies on this roster all season long. Uh, now you get to see why. We put in a great point to make that yep. the second point. Sullivan's having a great point. And when you look at who's yelling the most on their team, yeah, so we can see how good they are. They upset them. I would love to see Saginaw and MSU. That'd be a great game. But I mean, MSU beating BCU will prove that they're, they're better technically. Uh, this game not over though. So yeah, the update was. Oh, that's not a throw. VCU's gonna get another balls over. That's been that is what plagued them all first half. Good look by Noe, trying to get him in transition. Just flip his foot. We got a timeout by VCU. Probably a smart call. The momentum shifted back to MSU at that point. 20:30, and we have 20 minutes left in the game still. Score is two to one, Michigan State. Who, who is, hey, Spencer asked who is screaming on MSU. Uh, insert name of any freshman on their team. They are all just trying to take charge right now, and I credit them for doing it. But it's mostly uh, Peyton Schuster. He's yeah, been screaming it's at his team. Peyton because he, he was saying that point, uh, this point just now, they're trying to catch you, stop throwing a solo throw. Uh, because someone on the other side of the court was making catchable solo throws uh, on a couple of VCU's top catchers. So. Obviously, he knows who the top players are for VCU. He's going to let his teammates know if they're throwing catchable balls. And that's exactly how VCU won the last point. Really, really interesting to see now MSU. You know, under my tenure, I would say we're a very calm demeanor team. Yep, and it kind of shifted 180 this year. <laughs> it's almost a completely new roster when you look at who's, who's got the ball in their yeah. hand and who's trying to make plays. It's almost completely new offense, uh, completely new attitude of, of the team, too. Yeah, they, they have a little bit of a underdog mentality. As the 10th seed, they're trying to pull off technically an upset against the 7th seed BCU. Um, Send a lot of fans home sad. Yeah. Anuj, hashtag the future. I agree. Hashtag trust the process. Anuj. Austin Morley is watching. Never heard of her. Uh, score update right now, it's 2-1 to one Michigan State. Uh, we got less than 20 minutes. 2-1 Michigan State. Nice play by, four, by uh, number 42. But, uh, no, no, no. MSU held a 2-0 lead. VCU stormed back in the first quarter of the second half. Here comes the catch. 4-0. Ball's over. This time going to VCU. Is awake again. It's, it's not, not just a bonehead play. Hey, not Weakman's fault there. It's not Weakman's fault. He saw he saw Hunter throw on the far side. Yeah. He's got to expect but that throw's going to be there. Someone holding a ball has to make a throw yeah. in time. Someone has to. How many catches does he have? Okay. He's, he's he's been, short, short's on the line. Short the ball. has been the main factor for VCU this game. Uh, MSU definitely watched that Saginaw 
Chicago game because they are not putting a ball on 18 where it's catchable. He's only made maybe a couple catches. Big catch there. Big catch by uh, captain for Michigan State, Sandros. They have 11 guys yeah. right now. And they got out one of VCU's top catchers as well. Another, oh my goodness. Hoping on who is the hero of the first point of the day uh, for Michigan State. Bad, bad drop there. See, when you got 18 still on the court, he's great at resetting and getting back. Okay. <laughs> They're calling Brown. They call Brown and they say he's, he's not out. Nice throw by 18. 18 is just the definition of reliable for VCU. That's, that's just what 18s are. That is what Mike McCarthy also hey, joined us. Uh, Jake Lesson calls that a good throw. MSU is focusing too much on complaining about calls right now. Just finish your point. Keep playing your game. Uh, yeah, I think it's like 2009. 2008, uh, probably. The roughing staple. We miss, yeah. we miss having him here. Schuster coming up. Misses. Oh, man. Sullivan gets out. And then Weakland can't pick him off. You've got to get 42 in that situation. 18s are the best, says Kyle Foster. You know what? I agree. I agree. Oh, and 18 makes a catch. I agree, Kyle. I would say the top two numbers overall or would be 4 before. and 18 <laughs> in the NCDA. Oh my goodness, across 18, another out. Right, Schuster, go on. We said he wasn't making plays, and now he is. No, Schuster's going to him. Hazard again got caught by him multiple times. Oh, what a catch! What a catch by Schuster! That was a catch! He's pumped. He's pumped. Unbelievable. <laughs> News says 24. I'm not even going to respond to that. <laughs> Stop talking. I didn't even know you were number 24. But now that he is, now that you do know it, it probably changes it. It, it, it definitely boosted it out. <laughs> He's the only three players remaining. Woo! There you go, come in, come in, come in. God damn it. 18 still on the court, Mr. Reliable. Kyle. 17! Dylan Fedig says, if people think Elite is more exciting than this, what'd you say? They're dumb. It's true. There's just something about... Oh, oh no. spillage. There's, there's a number of factors to it, but I mean, if you look at the fans here, they're, they're going crazy anytime something happens. MSU's got eight, eight players remaining. Seven players remaining. A catch! 42 with a catch! We need an update on the BGSU game. Hey, what's the, what's the score of your game? 1-0? 1-0. 1 Bowling Green is leading Akron. I heard it was 1-1. No, it was almost 1-1. Oh, okay. It was almost 1-1, one one, but it's 1-0, Bowling Green. Weakland, nice throw. Kim, back up. 78 viewers. Noe Galavis coming up to throw. Oh, and he got it! He got it! Oh, my God. Was his good hit? It wasn't? Yeah. BCU's catches are just pulling them through this point. And Wayne Short's in the game. Oh, what a block. 23 says no, shakes his head. They call him out. Oh, he got him. Big hit. Big hit on Wayne Short. Schuster is I thought you were good. That was all ball. And a catch? Nope, nope, there's a stop it. Yep. Yeah, it's probably good for me to like just up. Hey, I thought he was hey, it's a makeup for the uh, for the catch. Well, How much time is left says Austin? Went in their favorite too. No, no, I'm, I'm saying this guy getting Uh scoreboard. Scoreboard is two to one Michigan State. There's 15 minutes remaining in the second half. A ball's over was just called. Michigan State is getting carried by their rookies this game. Here we go, team throw in the corner. Oh, and he got it. Great team throw. But Mr. Reliable is left for VCU. Number 18, one of the heroes yesterday, could be a hero today. 
can't get hit. Dylan, Dylan. Number 18 coming up with the throw. He got it! Two to one, Michigan State. VCU can tie it if this guy can pull through. It's four or five on one right now. Good throw by me. He is one of the most difficult players to get out in the entire country. It's gonna be, it's gotta be a team, team throw. throw team Captain throw. talking to Schuster and Caldwell. Team throw. He caught it! He caught it! Unbelievable! He gets the lift, he gets the lift. Oh, who got caught? We got to stop it. Mr. Reliable. Mr. Reliable again comes through. He got a team throw of three or four balls on him, and he caught Did one. He got, is he still in? I thought he got caught. Hey, hey, Hunter, is he still in? Yeah, no, he got hit. I couldn't tell if he got hit or not. I, I, but I, got hit for like I don't know. Other balls. No. Yes, he did. I'm just going based off what Leslie said. I, I, I would just ask him. Right now we have two discussions going on. We have two two different disputes going on at the same time. MSU wants to know who got out. Schuster stayed in, and, and he stayed in because he didn't know who got caught, and he asked the ref right away. Um, so I'm not sure who they're going to call out as who got caught. Yep. I believe it's going to be him. Okay. All right. So I think that I think that that was the right call on both sides. Good job by the refs to stop uh, and figure that out because that's a crucial point in the game right now. And but uh, once again, Mr. Reliable gets a catch and guess who it brings in? The guy who was the hero yesterday uh, in the very final play of the day, Hunter Ford. We got a lot of experience in the field for this year. Wow! And he makes a catch right off the bat. I mean, that hurts for VCU. Down three to one. They're not a super offensive team. They've got to play quick right now. 15 minutes. 14, 20, 14 minutes. 18 out. Four in. Still down there. Not too soon. The score of CMU against Penn State. I like what he wears heads at that, you know? Like, yeah. We lose one great number for another. 14. 14. VCU knows they've got to start playing more offensive minded right now. I mean, they're making catches, but how long is MSU going to keep I'm, making I throws? Am, I am catches? interested to see right now. In the past, in this situation, MSU has been played. Me and Zajac and Wes would just throw and kill shot clocks over and over. Shout out to James Reyes. I agree with you as well. Uh, I don't know if, if they have that, if they're going to be able to play it slow like they used to right now. It'll be interesting. No, that's the thing. When you have experience and, and you have a bunch of veterans, you can really like slow the game down. All right, here we go. Three to one. Oh, oh boy. We got a quick stoppage. Again, winner of this game plays Grand Valley in the quarterfinals. Uh, I will say, uh, one of the benefits when you're once a captain, but it work, is you just, I just told MSU, hey, if you don't start, I don't care. <laughs> Yikes. They shouldn't have shoes for All right, and a uh, quick update. Kent is winning 4-0 to against Virginia. Yep. It's game over. Kent State won 4 to 0. So, uh, Kent State, the third team to book their ticket to the Elite Eight, along with Central Michigan and Grand Valley. Top three teams in the country right now. Looks like JMU is on the way there. Looks yep. Like uh, JMU is. Uh, Saginaw against Miami is a close one. Towson is winning that game as well. Uh, Spencer Jardine, a pull up put his Wow. Pull up Spencer's comment. I want to read it. Spencer says, this is why people like college football over NFL. I agree. There's more passion. There's more... Uh, there's just more excitement all, all around right now in college dodgeball. 
What's the score? The score is three to one. Michigan State just got a point. Oh! Headshot by Noe. Yeah, cash and intensity, all, all of the above. Um, the score is three to one. Michigan State just scored a point to make it three one. Oh, great catch! VCU with 14 minutes to go. They need to speed up their game. They don't have time to sit around. They've got to make catches. And they, yeah, and their fans are yelling at them that exact thing. They said, "No time to sit around. Make plays." <sighs> it's tough because a lot of a lot of VCU's catches have come when they've been playing speed game, making catches, or getting to their back line. So I don't know if that really plays their advantage. But if you look at the court right now, it's working. It's working to start this game at this point. 3-1 to one, Michigan State, 13 minutes to go now in the second half. It's a great spot. Yeah, it is. It's all about ball placement and pushing up and back on, down the court together for MSU. And when you have so many rookies on, on the court at the same time, it's going to make it difficult to do that. Weekly coming up to throw. Oh, nice hit. And a dodge. Oh, Daniel gets hit. Both teams seem hesitant to peg people off on the opening rush. Yeah, and I would say part of that is because of uh, just how good each team has proven to be catching the ball this game. That was VCU's game all day yesterday. MSU's doing a great job catching today, too. Oh, man. And they call the ball's over. I, I, I think another another uh, reason why that no one's throwing up with their rush is that MSU would, would just say don't. 457 is just end of the Alright, we're restarting hey, we this video uh, because there's only really four now. minutes left. Right, so we're no. we going to restart the mid-game. Hope we'll you're doing it. Yeah. Do it? Oh, yeah. Have a jam. Every final four of us, though. It's the final four of yeah. yeah. Two viewers, four viewers. We're, we're getting viewers now. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Facebook Live only lets us have a, li a limit of four hours straight of live stream, so we had to cut that one off because we were right at the end of it. Uh, so apologies on that. The score is three to one Michigan State, but VCU with ten minutes left is battling to take a point here. The games will be streamed next, says Kevin Gregg. Uh, don't worry, Central against JMU is on this main court, uh, so that one will be streamed right here on this same live stream. We won't cut it off before that, that game. Oda comes up to throw and misses. Aaron Terenzi is watching. Shadid yells, that was my catch. He'll get the next one, he promises. He promises. Gotta play aggressive. Gotta play aggressive for VCU. 3-1 to one, Michigan State. We're in the second half. We have exactly 10 minutes to go. Uh, and looking at MSU's roster, they got five guys left, four of which are rookies. Shadid drops the catch. A good look, though. Shoot or shoot. SBSU is up 3-1 to one, apparently. That's what uh, Spencer just said. Uh, kind of as expected. Oh, good look. Weekly comes up and misses. That would have been crucial. And Mr. Reliable, number 18, right here. Also, my mother is on the live stream watching. Colin, say hi. Hi, Mrs. Billy. <laughs> Drops a catch. Kyle Dattlebaum is watching. Shout out, Kyle. Nine minutes left. MSU holding a three to one lead. Oh, oh, he got him. Knocked the ball out of his hand. Who is winning between VCU and MSU? The score is three to one. Michigan State is winning. Oh, great hit by Oda. One of their all-stars. 18, Mr. Reliable. Make a play. Misses him. Schuster. Oh, boy. Oh, misses. Oh, he got him. Oh, man. Rookie mistake. They're cheering. It didn't hit her, but they think it did. E.G. Akron. Bowling. One player left for MSU. They called back out on that play. And he got hit. Two to one. Two to one. The crowd is back in it. Dylan, what's 
more exciting? What's more exciting? Step off the course. What? 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 Three to two. Michigan State still leads, but VCU has all of the momentum right now. Once again, winner of this game plays Grand Valley in the quarterfinals right after this. Will MSU bring in a West Peter sub WWE style? If they want to blow another two point lead, yes. Why do you, why do you uh, connect my name to that? Okay, okay, that's Colin's fault. Yeah. <laughs> Tony's fault. We all know it's Tony's fault. We can't blame the Colin guy who got Oscar's Morgan live. to do the job. We know it's Tony's fault. Uh, for those of you just joining us, we're already up to 20 viewers after having to cut off that last live stream. Apologies for that. Uh, Facebook only lets us get four hours straight of one live stream video, so we had to cut that one short because we were at the limit. Uh, so we're on a new live stream now. Towson won 5 to 0. Over the rival, Maryland. Over Maryland, wow. Had to bring that up, says Anu. Sorry, Anu. Hey, that was not your fault. It was Tony's fault. It was Y'all Tony's know. fault. <laughs> Article coming eventually during this offseason. Don't worry. All right, so back to this game. Three to two, Michigan State leads. We have eight minutes, 12 seconds remaining. VCU just took a point, and they took it quick. They took it in about 67 minutes. Oh, man, Caldwell is out. One of MSU's best players. Hey, 18, 18. Hey, Wes, get him to back up. Team throws, team throws, BG team is up 1-0 in the second half. Yeah. Oh, number 18 gets caught, and 93 is out. Andrews catches it and just tucks the ball up in the air. Dylan, Dylan. Oh, no, he can't block the ball into your own hand. He just missed. So, VCU right now? No way. Oh my goodness. He fell out of bounds. Exactly what I was talking about. Nice shot off the rush by VCU. Bomas, that's correct. VCU knows they got to be a little bit more aggressive. Smart smart play by them to actually take a throw there on the run. Oh! The guy's always cheesy. He's smiling for me. He's enjoying himself. I don't think I've ever seen him not smile. Best VCU team of all time, and he's the top player on that team, arguably. I would say it might be 18. Uh, maybe a healthy Hunter Ford, but with the shoulder injury. Yeah. Six minutes, 50 seconds remaining. MSU nursing a 3-2 lead, but VCU is playing at a different level the last couple of minutes. Oh, looking for the catch, too. Trevor Norberg live. Hey, Trevor. Billy Cameron live. Hello. Billy, uh, don't worry. Kent State won 4-0 or something, 5-0. So they're on to the quarterfinals. Don't worry about that. Oh, got her. Rebecca trying to block. That's not her fault. Six minutes. Six minutes. Six. Six minutes remaining. That wasn't Rebecca's fault. She was blocking for Hunter. She was blocking for Hunter. Yeah. 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 Correa. Oh, what a block! Great play by Caldwell. And the crowd. Oh, great! It's, it's a home game. game. It's a home game. Oh, he got him! What a play by number six! Hey, Dylan, make sure that they get off the court. Not, not you, them. <laughs> hey, guys. The crowd is into it. Oh! Got him! Dylan calls him out. Dylan calls him out. Crazy! MSU, timeout. Oh, Smart job, I was able to call that timeout. Show the crowd. We just did, sorry. The crowd is into it. This 
Uh, this is rivaling UK 2013 for best national scrum. You know what? I don't disagree at all. The one thing I'll get, the reason I'll give it to UK is because we couldn't hear our shot clocks from a foot away because the UK crowd was yeah. so loud. And, and the, the thing is, we're in a much larger facility, and that it was all concrete walls and it was all enclosed, and that's why it was so loud. But it's this, loud. It, it, it's loud here. Hunter promised there would be some fans, and he did not and, disappoint. And another little twist here is that all of the other games have ended except for the Saginaw game, so all of the other courts are here, and the, all those teams are watching this game. Once again, MSU leads 3-2. to two. Five ball. minutes, 14 seconds remaining. VCU needs to get a point to force overtime. A lot of time. A lot hey, of time hey. left. Hey, guys. Yeah. MSU, one, one, two, three, four, five. MSU, only six players remaining. One more out, and MSU's on the 10 count. Oh my goodness, Daylin Clark. You can't, you can't let that hit your foot off of a block. MSU's on the 10 count now. And a catch! A catch! Oh, just misses Oda. Great look. Schuster's still in the game, though. This is what. Oh, and he got him! Schuster with a hit. Hey, this is where. This is where Schuster can make himself a legend as a rookie. He did so at MDC. Good block. And now this, this is where his players show up in big games. And he's had a good game. He's been a big reason for their offensive output. Yikes. Yikes. Time left. Time left. Yeah. Woo. We have four minutes remaining and four players remaining. Four players and four minutes remaining. They gotta get one guy out per minute if they're gonna force overtime. Three to two, Michigan State leads. Schuster coming up against the... Oh, and he short. gets way short, short out. Hey, he's play. made a couple big plays. Four minutes left. It's a kid! You can't do that! Three players left. Three rookies left for Michigan State. Oh, okay, I'm sorry, one of them's a sophomore. Oh! Trap. Nope, it hit the ball. It hit the ball. Good call by Lasky. Weakland. He, he plays like a veteran, even though he's a rookie. And, and, and he, is, he is the, the number one player that I want in this game on, on this side of the court. Oh, Mr. Reliable misses on the throw. Oh, and number 42 misses. Timeout, VCU. Timeout, VCU. 318 left. My voice is done. Keep track of my team for one game. If I was captain of your team, I would enable other hey, people to also lead the team, and we wouldn't have that issue. Oh, I'm not going to be so I know. I don't need to. I understand. I'm trying. I'm trying to get 10 tournaments where it's I side with you on this. Oh, wait. Hey, 318. I think it's totally good for us. Colin, get back here. Focus. Uh, so, so the crowd, like the stands are full right now. Everyone is here to watch this game. Everyone wants to see how this game's going to end. Michigan State leads 3-2. to two. We have 3 minutes, 18 seconds remaining. VCU has, it looks like, 9 players left. Do it! VCU's home crowd advantage is just astounding. I would say, I would say the only two spots in Michigan State here are, are, are the Michigan schools. Uh oh, uh oh. In transition, misses. Torreya misses. Oh, Schuster went for a hit on him. What is the BGSU Akron score? As far as I know, it's still 1 0 Bowling Green. That game's still going on, actually. Nine. That's a ball's over. Ball's over. Time. This looks like it's Better crowd than they get to basketball games? Probably. I mean, no. Hey, we may see a lead eight appearance by not their basketball team, but their, but their dodgeball team. Here we go. Oh, he dodged all three. Great dodge. BGSU is now up 2-0, to zero, I guess. 2.50 remaining. 
Oh, Hunter looked for the catch but couldn't get it. VCU, where's your offense? You gotta get three people out. Now 240 left in the game. VCU needs to get a one out to er, VCU needs to get these three players out to force overtime. And again, VCU won an overtime game yesterday against the school from Michigan, Saginaw Valley. Hunter Ford running up. And he got him out! Hunter Ford rarely throwing because of his shoulder issues. Makes a throw and gets him out. And a catch! They caught it! One player left! by the rookie! Two minutes! Two minutes! No, he's coming up to throw! Here we go! In transition! Misses him! Misses him! 145! Again, MSU leads by one. VCU trying to force overtime. Just missed. Just missed. Oh man, Perea comes up. Team throw misses him. Oh, oh, what a hit! VCU, VCU gets one minute left. One minute left. So, what happened here is, on that first throw, it was a team catch. So, Dil referee Dylan Fedek was trying to inform him that he was still initially in the game. But then, he eventually was hit, and so now it's just out of knowing. It's on what? The catch? No, no, after one of the catches. He got out. But so. the team, it was a team catch right here. They, they did call the one time. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, number 20, Brent Weekland. Oh, I'm sorry, no. The catch run, no, yeah. That's a good call. Yeah, that was a good call. They're saying that Weekland got right. that one catch. What a sequence is right. They're, yeah, so, so what happened was. Yeah. Yeah, all right, that's, all right, that's correct. That's correct. That's correct. Good call. Good call. Dylan, Dylan, tell them to back up. Bring it home. Hey, Noe Galavis, one of the most talented players in the sport of dodgeball. Let's see if he can pull it off. Noe Galavis, last man left in his last tournament, I believe. Uh, one of MSU's best. But he's going up against eight seconds, a six whole throws, slew about six, seven throws. throws. Alright, we have 58 seconds to go. Up, 58 seconds to go. One player left. Can VCU force overtime? Here we go. Team throw. Oh, just Hunter Ford threw, and it was blocked. VCU is disorganized. They gotta figure so They gotta figure it out. Noe Galvez, last man left. Coming up to throw. Coming up to throw. And he doesn't get it. Time out. Time out. Time out. All right, I'm gonna go ask what the time is left. Last game. 30. 30. Exactly 30 seconds remain. For anyone who is just joining us, we have a three to two score for a spot in the quarterfinals between Michigan State and VCU. Winner of this game gets to the final eight at the national championship tournament here. Uh, VCU needs to eliminate Noe Galavis from Michigan State to earn a point and force overtime. We have 30 seconds left. That's all Noe has to do is he has to stay inbounds for 30 seconds and Michigan State wins the game and they move on to the next round. If he can't stay alive and one of eight VCU players remaining gets him out, 
back up. Then we're, then we're seeing overtime. Overtime is, of course, six on six. Uh, it's six on six, and it's uh, just first team to win, win that point wins. All right, here we go. No, he's got to survive for 30 seconds. What's going on? One, two, three. Here we go. Here we go. Force a long throw. And they're coming up. Safe. Safe. They call him safe. He's got to make one more throw. He's got to make one more throw. Hunter misses. Hits ground. I can't. Oh my gosh! What a catch! What a catch! I can't believe it! There was less than 10 seconds to go! I can't believe it! Unbelievable. I need a rock. I need a cell phone. Here we go. No, you're a piece of shit. Well, hey. Because we saw it happen. All right. Hey, we're going to overtime. We're going to overtime, folks. Uh, this... What are you thinking right now? Like he was hurt. He wasn't in the game. What are you thinking right now? All right, we're going to overtime. Hey, stop being distracted. Yeah. Yeah. Which eliminates that loophole. All right, uh, so once again, overtime is the best six players on each team's roster going up head-to-head, -head, and it's sudden death. So this could go on forever, or it can end in one minute. You never know. Number six, the hero, made that catch right at the end. Right there. What are they doing? Hey, get the back off. Hey, Sam. Tell him to back has Kent played yet today? Yes. Kent won. They're already in the quarterfinals. VCU. Unbelievable tournament. All right, and now let's take a look at MSU's overtime roster. Uh, we got Noe Galvez. We have Cam Caldwell. We have Dennis Sullivan. Uh, we have Daniel Cobina. Hunter Whitehill. And then, of course, Peyton Schuster, uh, rookie phenom. The future. And now over here on VCU side, same roster that they had against SPSU yesterday. Oh, and a quick hit! Quick hit on both sides. Number 18, Mr. Reliable. Oda coming up to throw. Gets crossed, but doesn't hit him. Remember, this is sudden death. First team to get eliminated loses the game and has to go home. Five on five right now. Five on five. Oh, and a catch by Noe! Oh, no, it hit the ball. No, he said it hit the ball. He didn't accept the catch because he knew it hit the ball before it touched him. Oh, nice dodge by Hunter. Dylan. Miss. Miss. Five on five. MSU, can they get to the quarterfinals with their young, inexperienced roster? After blowing a lead. Oh, what a dodge by Hunter on a team throw. Two. 18. Nice spot. Oh, man. Wasted throw by Wayne Short. Hey, help me out. I'm nervous. Oh, no good. Number 42 by himself. Misses. No, he could have hit him there. No, he could have hit him. Oda saved his life. Five on five in overtime. Winner of this game is in the final eight. Oh, that catch by Hunter. Two straight catches. No way. No way. Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. Catch. Oh, oh. Catch. Catching it out. Catching it out. Good call by Lesky. Hunter, Ford, Hunter Ford's foot slipped out of bounds after he made the catch. But the catch still counts. Catch it out. Three players left against five for MSU. Come on, Come on, Here comes a team Let's throw. Go. Nope. Two rookies on the left side of the court. Wayne Short right here. Oh, man. I like Missing. the pincer. I like, I like the Yep. That's an unexpected play by MSU. Number 42 pushing up. Makes a throw. Misses. Daniel Cobina. Oh, man. He got hit. Honest play. Honest, honest play. Schuster misses. He's open. Oh, what a hit by Caldwell. Oh, you throw that ball back to your team. We have two players left, but both of them have made clutch That's plays all day for BCU. We have Wayne Short, we have number 42, I don't know his name, but he has been clutch all day long. One of the last guys left basically every point for BCU. On the other side, MSU has four players left. Whoa, what a dodge. BCU, can they have another storybook finish to a game? Two players remain. In transition, makes the throw. Get that ball, get that ball. Thank you. Thank Which way? What? That's a bad call. I thought that was a bad call. Alright, so what they called there was a the ball's over. Uh, you got to give the ball within like a legitimate zone where it can be caught, or at least there's a step and a dive away from a player. And VCU's throw did not get that close. MSU, four players left, two of them rookies. Come on, boys. Two VCU players. Deep throw, Let's go. got him. Wayne Short is out. Four on one. Time out, BCU. Time out, BCU. Time out before the hit. I think after. I think he's just calling time out. That's time out after the hit. So hey, let's go. Hunter Ford calls a timeout after the hit. The reason for that was so all four of the balls that were thrown stay on VCU's side. So now, number 42, he has four balls. He can block for himself. He can run up and down the court. And he's not going to be left as wide open as if he did if he only had like one ball on his side. Michigan State, four players remaining, but they only have, they only have three balls, it looks like. Out of the way, guys. All right, here we go. Here comes the throw. Oh man, you can't throw a catchable ball to 42. 42 is a great catcher. Here he comes, last man left for VCU. Their last hope to get to the final eight of nationals. And the throw, it's good, it's fine. Wait another one, Wait this is Schuster. Unreal. Uh, great job by both sides. BCU, unbelievable week of what? Hey, don't worry. <laughs> Un unbelievable game. BCU was part of two of the two best games all weekend. And they're thanking their crowd now. Incredible support from the BCU fan base. BCU so close, so close to making the Elite Eight. Go on, go on, go on, go on. MSU moving on to the quarterfinals and a chance to take out Grand Valley. Get revenge for last year. They could get revenge. Unbelievable game. Rivals the game that VCU played yesterday against Saginaw. Those easily the two best games that I've seen in a long time.